Good afternoon, Southside. I'm Dominique Triplett. And I'm Megan Collins. On this episode of Hawk TV, it's all about basketball as our team prepares to compete in the state tournament. We caught up with some of our players on the basketball team, plus... How did you like the student section last Friday at the game? Reporters Jenny Wood and Contorius Verser have that story. Also, are you wondering how the team feels about going back to state? Hawk TV reporter Kelsey Key and Skylar Thomas have more with that story. Hawk TV starts now. Welcome back to Hawk TV. Hey Megan, did you participate in the student section Friday night? I sure did. I was wearing my white. Good. Well, we are continuing with the student section at the state tournament, plus a pep bus. Hawk TV reporters Jenny Wood and Contorius Verser talked to some students about how they liked the student section. This week, we talk about the pep section that was at the sub-state game. What was the student section like? It was all right. There weren't that many people going crazy or nothing, so it could have been a little bit more exciting. Okay. Oh, was it very crowded? Yeah, it was crowded. Did you take any pictures or selfies? Uh, no, can't say I did. And uh, what did the students do when Southside scored or anything exciting? They cheered. We were already standing up the whole time, so I mean, can't do nothing else. <laughs> The student section was great, you know. There's a lot of students there supporting the Hawks. Pretty, pretty awesome. Was it very crowded? It was. There was tons of people in a space that was not big enough for that many people. Did you take any uh, pictures or selfies? I did not take any selfies. I took a picture of the court because that's the first time I ever sat on the court, and that was a big game, so it was pretty exciting being that close with all those people there. We got pretty loud. Well, I know I did. I mean, some students were just standing there looking at the ceiling, not paying attention, but I was getting pretty loud. You know, it was a good experience. Proud of the Hawks. And that's your recap for the PEP section. The PEP bus will be leaving Southside at 1.45, and we'll be coming back at 10 o'clock. It is $5 to ride. Thanks, Jenny and Contouris. Make sure you sign up for the PEP bus if you want to go to the state game. Come out and support our boys' basketball team at 6 p.m. at MTSU on Thursday night against Manassas. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we will hear from the members of the basketball team. The opportunities that lie in front of you are unlimited. Let us help you reach them. Whether you want to travel abroad, serve others in your community, or gain hands-on experience in your field. We can help you go far. Jackson State, stay close, go far. At Family Cosmetic Dentistry of Jackson, our goal is to provide a clean and friendly environment. Staffed by dental professionals with specialized skills to address the oral health needs of our patients, including our brand new product, Tech White. Teeth whitening and lip gloss plumbing. Get two products in one lipstick size applicator. Teeth whitening gel on one side with lip gloss plump on the other. Give us a call today at 731-424-6452. Remember, your smile is our smile. Welcome back. We are all excited about going back to state tournaments. But I think the boys are even more excited. I wonder how they feel about the games. Man, I don't know. But Hawk TV reporters Kelsey Key and Skylar Thomas can tell us. I'm excited to go to state, do something that ain't never be done. Ready to make history. I'm excited. I'm ready to win. Come win the gold ball. I just want to ring. 
Uh, What's the next question? Support. How do y'all feel about the support you're getting from the fans? Uh, we got some good fans. Yeah. They've been supporting us all year. Uh, we got great fans. They've been supporting us for the last two years, three years, whatever. So, we got good fans. Man, we got some real good fans because they travel all the way to Nashville just to come watch the play. So we got some real good fans, man. You know what I'm saying? Last year's experience, how's it going to help you this year? The experience was great last year. It helped us out a lot, especially losing the championship game. But I think we got a better team than we did last year. Well, I mean, this year we know how everything's set up and we know, like, what type of risk we need for the next game and all that. And, um, we know what it takes to be CPA. We know it's a big old floor, so we got to have a lot of conditioning, and we got to eat right. I'm most looking forward to being CPA and winning the gold ball, bring it back to South Beams, Southside, Hartbridge Road. <laughs> I'm looking forward to winning the gold ball. I want a ring. I want my coach to have a ring, make him feel good. I'll be happy, you know what I'm saying? Put up. I'm looking forward to getting a gold ball and being a CPA. All right, what's it going to take to be a CPA? What's it going to take? Uh, uh, play hard, be disciplined, uh, listen to coach, work on things, work in practice. Effort and being disciplined. Uh, doing all that stuff right. I think we got to pass the ball, we got to run, <laughs> listen to coach. Can't make no many, you can't make a lot of mistakes, no turnovers. And we'll be all good, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get it. You're going to get it, man. CPA, we coming for you. Hard work and effort. Shout out to my family, man. Uh, shout, out shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to all our fans. Shout out to <laughs> Don't listen to this, man. Shout out to Hawk Mason. All that. Thanks to all the fans for tuning in. Hold that. Hold that. Hey, hey, hey. Pass that. Hold that. Bill from scratch. No. Shout out to my boy, Ralph City. Thursday night at 6 o'clock, the boys play in the first round of the state tournament against Manassas. Come out and support your Hawks. For Hawk TV, I'm Scully Thomas. Thanks, guys. When we think of basketball, we just think of the two teams playing on the court. But really, there's a lot of preparation before the games we don't know about. About... Hawk TV reporters Lexi Sh Childers, Childers and Jessica Hams has this scoop. Head basketball coach Damon Fuller has a lot planned before our Hawks compete in the state tournament. Um, considering that uh, the Saturday game was delayed till the weekend, uh, it was very hard trying to get the footage on the other teams. Considering I had to drive to Memphis, uh, Lexington, and even meet uh, Midways in Nashville uh, to try to get the footage on the team that we're playing on tomorrow night. In addition to Coach Fuller, Southside's boys assistant basketball coach, Brent McNeil, takes a lot of part in it also. I'm at the state tournament um, Saturday morning after the sub-state game. We pick numbers, and when you pick the numbers, that's how you draw your hotels and who you play. It's not only what you see on the court that counts, but the things it takes behind the scenes to get our Hawks to where they are is also where it counts. Our Hawks have left this morning. There's a big difference playing here at home compared to a college-level basketball court. Um, Jackson State, uh, which has been wonderful for us for the last three days, allowed us to come in and practice on their floor. And also we're going up to uh, Tennessee State University and practice on their floor today. I'm uh, trying to get the guys familiar with the size of the floor and the, uh, the big arenas. We will have, the, we will have the, a basic shooting around at uh, Seagull High School. So um, it's... it's, it's Pretty much time to get started. For Hawk TV, I'm Lexus Childress. And I'm Jessica Helms. Well, this is all for this edition of Hawk TV. Make sure you come and support the Hawks basketball team at the tournament. And if we win Thursday, we will play Friday night at MTSU at 6 p.m. Thanks and tune in Friday for another episode of Hawk TV. Yeet, yeet. You heard me?